Jim with me and Mark, and of course, Kayla's over there very happy, but not happy. <laughs> She's got the smug face going on. She's she, got... She doesn't like my, my energetic intros. They're pretty good intros. She doesn't like them. I, <laughs> she's, should, she's, I should be, hey, hey, Kayla's dad. Star Warp World, uh, Kayla's dad. This is Kayla, and I'm, I'm Mark. You can leave now. Thanks. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> good to see you, Kayla. Tell us about Reba. <laughs> I, I'm going to not breathe because it's going to piss Kayla off. I, I can't didn't... believe you're the only one so far of all my friends that said, eh. About Reba? Yeah. No, I've already seen Reba once before. For those who aren't don't know what happened, yesterday, at least when we're recording this, we went and saw Reba. Um, I took my parents for their anniversary and I took Jamie for her birthday. Thirty years, by the way. Could I can I get an applause okay. button on uh, that? I don't uh, know no. which button yeah. it is. Oh my we're <laughs> figuring that out. Thirty years. Really, I would have played the other one. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> So anyway. I got floor seats for us, which was super nice because it's like, ooh, never been on the floor before. But I've come to realize that I said. don't like floor seats. <laughs> in why didn't you like the floor seats? Um, just because the people are literally right in front of you, yeah. so it's like there's no elevated thing, so that if someone is moving around you, like you can kind of still see. Um, and then people just kept putting their hands up when I was trying to like record. Which sounds super like millennial bullshit, but also... That does sound like super millennial no, bullshit. This, this person Here's, would just put their hand up, and it's like, what are you doing? Are and I'm you... going to put this on the Facebook page. My video that I tried real hard to get, and then Kayla does this awesome, <laughs> whatever the hell she does, <laughs> broadcast quality video. Cin- cinematic genius. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just like... Did you put it on so we can see it, or is it on your no, site? No, I'll put it up. It's on It's on CTAZ Adventures Instagram. Oh. But but not ours. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up the comparison because she just this awesome video and I'm just sitting here looking at it like five 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 Kayla for all your energy. <laughs> what did I do wrong? I'll shoot it on my the Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> but that's the whole thing that Apple wants you to do: be able to shoot a movie or whatever on your phone. I mean, there's a lot of people that've done it. So yeah, well, I, Kayla knows what the hell to do because I certainly don't. Mine just looked like I was taking a picture with a. One of those plastic snap cameras or something. It looked horrible. Kale's is, compared to Kale's is awesome. So um, I liked it. I was very. I was more impressed than I thought it would be with Reba. Um, the the first band, the Isaacs, uh, great harmony. Mama Isaac looked pissed off. Mama Isaac. How old is Mama Isaac? A hundred or something. She had she had to be in her sixties or seventies. God bless her. That's great. Yeah, but she kind of resembled someone on our crew here. When she was up there, <laughs> there's th- there's four of us. Which one am I narrowing it I'm down saying to? I'm she just looked really pissed off the whole oh, time. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, all right. Well, that's a, that's anybody with Kayla. Anyone that's but, um, we have to call Kayla. But you know, they're a family group, but it, it was really, really churchy. Um, and that's that's kind of. But you have you. I have to show Mark that um video of the J- Chicago song that they did. They did. They do. did a Chicago cover. Yeah. You're my. You're, you're the, the inspiration. inspiration. Oh, God. And it was harm no it was no. really good. i'm sure it was good that's I just that's such credit. a pathetic song it was harmonies and it was just gorgeous yeah, that's cool i will give them credit they did sound good with that but all right you know that that was the bright part of that so besides if you could have had a personal reba concert with nobody there you would have been perfectly happy is what i've been oh no 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 i mean i mean let's go with also with terry clark terry clark a lot of people thought she was dead apparently but um really Whenever I think of Terry I had, Clark, who I had three people say, didn't she die? And I'm like, no, that's Minnie McCready. And she goes, no, I know she died, but didn't Terry Clark die? But she did, um, I want to do it all. Um, what's that one? Uh, that one other country song. No, she's got, she like, took my truck. she's got like four or five hits. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I was impressed with her, too. She did really well. Good. And then Reba was. Um, so it's a three hour show. No, it was a four-hour show. Oh, my God. Well, with, with, really, with all the breaks, four hours. Yeah, it took forever. Well, I start at 7, get out of there at 11. 6.30 to 6:30. 10.30. Hmm. Wow. Get out of the parking lot by 11.30. Well, well no. you get what you pay for. You should. Yeah. I mean, no, if you're paying was, that much money, you yeah, should. Yeah, it was, it was really great. The seats were awesome. I Like I was telling you earlier, I really thought that with four seats, you just kind of meandered onto the floor. No, you still got to go downstairs and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So. And it's actually more of a bitch to get to the bathrooms and everything else. Yeah. You really got to mm-hmm. make your way up the stairs. and you got to. So, I mean, it, there's benefits. Don't get me wrong. I, I've only had them once, but, I mean, I liked them. I loved them. 
But it's kind of, you know, you want yeah. to hold it as long as you can, and you don't want to have to. There's not like any vendors are coming down to freaking get you Cokes. There or, was one guy down there selling water and lemonade. Oh, there nice was guy. There was none at ours. So, so, you mentioned bathrooms. Let's talk about the cast of Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> so, God bless their hearts. They were drinking and having a good time, but they just kept getting up at the wrong time to go to the bathroom. And I was getting really annoyed. Then, the guy was a wonderful person, very nice person, very great with his fans. I was going to say, don't genderize things no, here. No, no, no. Like, why not? It's okay, okay too. So we're, it's sit, right. we're sitting there, and we it's have two, two, Reba, empty, right? two empty seats next to us, and up walks Reba McIntyre, sort of. Because I'm going to call him Rebert. <laughs> oh my God. He is... did look like a Rebert. I'm going to give you, I mean, I, I saw the picture no, on but, Facebook. Hey, you know, for what he did, he did it great. And he ended up being a super nice guy. He was very accommodating to his fans. A bunch of people wanted to take pictures with him. So I got Cast the Duck Dynasty trying to go to the bathroom cut in front of me. I got every Rebert fan wanting to get pictures with Rebert. <laughs> no, Rebert. <laughs> Rebert's pretty funny, though. That's a pretty funny nickname. And uh, it's just like, wow, I just kind of want to watch a concert and be with my wife, you know? But other than that, um, the the phenomenal show that Reba put on just kind of outweighed everything that that cool. I had issue with. It was it was really great. It was, well, good. I'm glad I'm you had happy that fun. to you know be with my my family and everything anyway. So oh god, <laughs> excuse me, I threw up a little again so, in my mouth. No. <laughs> that's just that's just disgusting there. So just Austin, awesome time. Thank you very much for that anniversary present, Kayla. Oh, that's it. swell. So, that was wonderful. Look what? how nice she looks. She's like uh, whatever. She's like I'm trying to get a refund on these tickets. <laughs> I'm saying like, that's what she's doing. On I'm looking phone. up Rebert's tickets yeah, right Rebert. now. <laughs> Ten ninety nine casino. <laughs> Arizona celebrities. That's what I she's. I yeah. wonder because there is a bar at Desert Ridge that does like a lot of drag queen and like drag brunches. I wonder because they we did, should go check them out or her out or what do we call? They them? did like a country women one, and Reba was on the poster. So I wonder if if Reba's funny. Was, I got to admit, Reba's funny. <laughs> I wonder if Rebert was. We find performer. him and have him on the podcast. We, nice. I would love to have Reber. Do you think we'd be mad if we called him Reber? Yeah, sense? probably. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. But. Can we call you Reber, sir, the whole time that you're on? Do you mind? I did, we just, That's not my name. It's actually know, Bill. We didn't know at first. We really didn't. Then, obviously, when you got closer, you could tell. But like I said, turned out to be a phenomenal person who was really it's better nice than if you fans. went to the bed with him or anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would suck. <laughs> so that was that, that was our big thing. What have you been doing? Nice. Couple oh, of well, we went to. Oh, my God. Oh, Reno. Now, let me preface this. I'm not going to be the spokesperson for Reno, okay? They're not going to they're not going to put me on a billboard and say come to Reno. Oh my god. It If you never have to go to Re, to Reno, don't ever go. There is no reason to ever go. And my god bless my wife. So we're sitting here, she wants to find a local place to camp because a $25 tables in Reno. Wow. It was freaking crazy at where we were staying and everything else. So she wants to go to this dive casino. And we couldn't have been at a bigger dive casino. And she kept on asking, where do the locals go for a dive casino? And they're like, you're here. You're <laughs> sitting there. And she, she just couldn't understand that it was this, you know, that it was it was called a Calneva. And it was $2, 16 ounce IPAs and $3 fireball shots are Buddy Dave would be found dead in the gutter if they freaking if they went out there. But freaking oh my god! And and you know, and then we're talking to the like a couple cabbies because we went to a couple, and they're saying their rents and everything are just as high because California's overrunning them. Yeah. And I'm thinking if you're paying two thousand dollars a month to live here, get the fuck out. You need to freaking come some because there is no way. Oh my, you should be oh. Yeah, it was I've never been to Reno. Never had you a don't to ever go. have to. I'm going to tell you, as one good friend to another, you don't ever have to go to Reno. You are not missing a damn thing. In fact, when I was at work the other day, I freaking I, I, people were like, "What are you doing this week?" I'm like, going to Reno. And I think three people at once turned around and go, "Why?" And I was like, <laughs> "Well, we're, we got it for free, and there's a reason why we got it for free." But yeah, Reno is whatever. And oh, I did. For, my wife doesn't even know this story. I totally forgot about the story. So my, I think it was this Monday. Uh, Holly leaves for work. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching TV. It's 45 minutes or so after she works. And I'm hearing something. It's the weirdest thing. I'm hearing moaning. I'm, he I'm hearing moaning. And I'm going, so I fucking mute my TV. And I walk outside and there's porn playing on my fucking Bluetooth. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And so I, I don't always turn my uh, 
Bluetooth speakers off. I leave them on. Apparently, <laughs> it was picking up somebody listening to porn, and I'm out here, and after listening for to it for about 10 minutes, you know, I was like, I, I guess I should turn these off, you know, but that, that's what I'm dead serious, and I'm like, but I'm sitting here, there's porn going on on my Bluetooth speakers out here, and I'm going, what the hell? I'm like, oh my God, but yeah, somebody, to your, whoever my <laughs> neighbors are doing that, that's a good job, guys, I, you know, but it was weird, because I'm hearing it, it was loud, because I had turned them up pretty loud, and I was like, <laughs> And I'm looking, and I'm going, what the, was that a moan? And then I hear something like, oh, God. And I go, what the hell is going? And I come out here, and yeah, four are going on my Bluetooth speakers out here, man. I forgot to tell Holly that story. But, yeah, that was that was my Monday night, so it was definitely interesting. So somebody was listening to updated porn. I don't think it was any of those old porn or anything like that. No. Yeah. We got some funky neighbors over here. It's great. God. We all smoke some weed, watch some porn, <laughs> and drop some shrooms, and we're ready to go in Gilbert. That's yeah. <laughs> Uh, for those wondering about dog background, we are again around the fire pit. We're uh, our days are numbered around the fire pit, so we are fireside outside. chat. It's only our third. Huh? Well, we had the live show, and I remember two other ones. So well, I'm just saying our days are numbered for being around the fire pit because the temperature's going to go. I up. think we got one more month. I think we got. I April. hope so. I hope so. Because I'll even light if if it's like 75 or 80. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if I'm sitting in shorts in my, you know, I'll sure, I'll light sure, it. So, sure. but anyway, that's but the, that's the dog noises and the sounds of nature. And that uh, thing that sounds like a breathing nose is just something out here. Mark you, Speakers. You guys got to get used to that now. So you know what? We should give it its own nickname. On well, Facebook, I don't listen we should, to our podcast. Should, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> I listened to the last four in order because we're so slow at work. And so I'm sitting there. So I'm listening. And actually, I chuckled quite a few times. They were actually funny, guys. You should. Hey, and by the way, our goal is 1,000. We're at how many? 809. Dun, dun, dun. We broke 800 really quickly. Hey, listen, we did jump up pretty quick, guys. So uh, we're making some uh, in uh, inroads here. We're doing yeah, we're all right. There. So, you know, by year 15, we're going to have 1,200 downloads. And it's we'll going to be great. get that 1,000 per month that we're, we need. Is that for to save, what, $19? <laughs> Whatever Not the point. <laughs> <laughs> Not Tune the in point. because you want to hear from what we have to say and from us and that we're kind of informative on some of the things we talk to. So. Sure. Well, so we, so it's kind of an eventful week. It's, most of our intros are, what'd you do? Nothing. I worked. Oh, we went to this, we make yeah, I did that or whatever else. So, but uh, I had a very busy week at the title company. They were just uh, slammed with getting people in their new houses. So I was happy to be working all week. That's awesome. That's yeah. good. Carla, yeah. our, our groupies here today. Oh, did you get get some uh, birthday or uh, whatever sex? Uh, yeah. you don't talk about that. You should, the daughter. I put, I put on some glasses. <laughs> yeah. So I'll funny, take that as a yeah. You guys were the porn on my freaking speakers. That's how it was. The funny thing was someone said happy anniversary. I turned to Kayla and said happy conception day. Yay. And she got all mad at me. <laughs> Yay. Because he didn't say it in the privacy of like <laughs> Mark's backyard. He said it yesterday at the Reba concert well, in the middle of gonna the fucking see those bar. People. Who's going to see her again? Well, you guys went to the bar before it? Well, the well we were at like... the bar at the stadium. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, we were, we were married March 27th and Kayla was born December 26th. Do the math. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Happy conception day, Kayla. Good. That's great. Congrats. <laughs> That's good. 30 years. I'm going to put on some applause for that, please. Yeah. I Come on. It's hard to read. It is 30 years. That's a, that is something that, especially because you guys are young, it's not like we're old. I know you act like you're 106, <laughs> but you're not. So, <laughs> I mean, but uh, you guys actually have 30 years. I, I give it to you. Thank you. You should Thank do you the much. same thing, Kayla. I'm sure you've seen a lot of marriages crumble, including mine over the years. So, I mean, this is something to do several, for 30 several years. Several of yours. <laughs> several of mine. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, I'm on three three of them combined. I'm not even half of what you guys have been married or whatever. <laughs> so, it, it's kind of, you know, yeah, but it's good. Uh, seriously, awesome. congratulations. Thank you. Thank Happy you anniversary. Much. I'm glad. Hopefully, I wish you guys another 30 more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, 30 more. Because you'll, you'll murder be him before. <laughs> you'll, be eight, you'll be 83, right? In 30 years? Yeah. Yeah, 83. It's that, that's, fe- that's definitely feasible. It's possible if I lose 100 pounds, start eating. Oh, right, my God. Can you walk. imagine spending 60 years with... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. My, my I, parents I stayed again. together 51. That's different. Their age, they... They weren't allowed. Yeah, they didn't even. Divorce like, wasn't look like. like each other. Yeah, I mean, divorce <laughs> wasn't look like as it is nowadays. Now it doesn't matter at all. Right, right. But freaking back then, you weren't allowed to get divorced. All right. Well, let's take a little break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about social media and the good, bad, and indifferent of social media. Be right back. 
<laughs> we're back and talking about social media. I'm um, primarily Facebook, Instagram, things like that. But I think Facebook's the one we're going to talk about a little bit. So I think so. We've got some issues. Mark? Well, everybody, I, and we're older, so this is why we have Kayla here because I want to know what. Kayla's point of view is on a millennial point as she's on her phone on social media right now on Aaron, your laundry on Facebook. What a millennials. What is their Wait, first define airing laundry, please? OK, so my, mine is don't use names. No, I'm not okay. going to use any names at all. But I saying you're sick and going in for um, something or you're getting divorced or my wife pissed me off i i don't believe you should be laying your wife out on social media or you should be airing your arguments or something on social media to take sides so i guess that's what i'm what i mean airing dirty laundry i mean i think social media has got out of control i think it's being manipulated i think it's being there's a lot of stuff that i think is going on with it but i want to know your point of view do you think we're overreacting or is this what honestly i don't care like if you want to air your shit go for it i'm just gonna read it and laugh because how stupid you sound and that's what i do too i i do well and that's the thing a lot of people just say just keep scrolling if you don't want to read it yeah ultimately facebook not even just facebook social media in general can be a diary for certain people who don't fucking understand that it gets yeah, shared I, I, with Carla everybody. Carla writes books. I mean, <laughs> her her sentence will start out, so I went to Circle K, and it'll end up 42 pages long about 14 <laughs> different things, and at the end she'll be like, I, I got my Coke and I went home. I mean, that, that's how it's like, it is. Like, well, I, I want to elaborate a little bit, because like, and, and this is going to point directly at you, because I, I used to get very angry with life and my job, particularly my job. And I would post a lot of negative shit, negative shit. And you were constantly on my ass. Stop posting negative shit. You're always so negative. Yada, 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 yada. For me, it was a way to vent because I really didn't have. I know, but it comes to. across as you're a mean bastard yeah. asshole. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. so that it, it really does. So when I kept on reading that, I would talk to Holly or whoever I was, whatever wife I was with at the time and you were doing, I would be like. Jesus, Jim's turned into a cranky old fuck, man. Uh, yeah. He's a cranky I, old fuck. I was a cranky old fuck. However, okay, it was for me a way to to vent, to, to voice, because I didn't really feel like I had anyone I could call and talk to. So I'm just going to put this on Facebook just to get it out. Okay. I mean, I just put the. You could call me. I'll just leave the phone down like this. And yeah, I, you won't I mean, pay attention I, anyway. I mean, and then I'll go like, uh huh. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, that sucks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so after you and, and a couple other people, barrages of quit being so negative, you're always in a blah, 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 okay? So then I just started, like, posting memes. Just, I, I didn't even put anything personal. The only personal stuff I would put it was, like, when the dog got sick and I kind of wanted a uh, positive vibe from everybody for the dog. Or obviously... Okay, so I'm going to interject there. Do you think that is why people put depressing stories for to feel better about themselves or they want that love i want your point i want a, a millennial right quick on this because do you think your friends do that no none of my friends do that no gee i got to admit jamie foot pe- foot girl doesn't you know jamie doesn't no literally no one on my facebook posts anything like that and i mean and i feel guilty because i love these people most of them well at least the close ones on facebook sure. and i want to be there for them and everything else but sometimes i'm like jesus christ man just can you just put a right. happy smile okay. up and just... Okay, so in, in my progression, I started just putting memes. Then I had assholes coming at me with, you never put anything on there. It's all just memes. Your your Facebook page runs like an ad. There's no, you know, there's nothing about you on there. Fine, because I've been told I'm too negative. Then when life turns around, I finally get rid of the job, and life turns around and starts getting better, and I think it was Marilyn Monroe who said it best, if you can't accept me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. So I don't put anything on there. I, I don't read any. Yeah. Well, I, so I was trying to do some advertising for Johnny B's on there, and I was called a pedophile. I was called, and I'm like, are you kidding? I'm like, okay, this is not even. Yeah. I mean, to me. Well, and that's the thing is that you see so many people who put an innocent question on there. What were we just talking about? The Yeah. So we were just talking. Yeah. So there was a. a lady on there and and she all she did was post on go gilbert hey does anyone know where i can go happy hour for with kids you know and dude people were just ripped why would you bring your kids you're supposed to have this without the kids and it's like just 
tell her oh so or just, and just move on or just yeah, you know what do you it, what is going an on why, why are you doing your, this you know i'm going to say i want your opinion about my choices in life where can i take my kids to drink you know <laughs> but no just give me a say, fucking answer i'm going to be a karen why are you taking your kids to fucking happy hour uh, I get Take it. Them to fucking but Chuck it's, e. Cheese. it's not your it's not your point. <laughs> All she did Busters, was an ask, you know, event. where can I bring kids? Okay, but right know? there, there's your answer. Dave and Buster's main event. Yeah, that's what kids you're going to Kids can go have exactly. fun. She can it, sit not, in the bar. Not, it wasn't a what do you think about me taking my kids to happy <laughs> right, hour question. Exactly. It was where can I go to happy with my kids? Dave and Buster's. Then behind the scene, why don't you go, fucking bitch, what the fuck are you taking kids to fucking, you know? Then you can do that. But I don't believe you should be freaking answering back going, why the why the hell are you taking your kids to happy hour? It's none of our business, okay? It's none of our, you know, no, that, they want to go have, maybe they don't have a sitter or they had plans with people and they, their sitter backed out and they, they said, bring them anyway. Whatever. We don't know what the story is. Right. Don't well, and. This is the moral of that story. Oh, it's definitely the moral of the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have one. And, I love you, Nicholas. You never listen, but I love you. <laughs> you know, with, well, with some of the groups I'm in, I see it a lot, just so much. Um, hey, it's my birthday. Here's my selfie. How many people are in the 30 marriage, 30 year marriage group that you're in? Four? I'm, I'm not in that. I'm in like the, <laughs> the, like four. <laughs> the 80s groups. I'm in a lot of podcast groups and things like that, but I'm not in that. You know, that's happy marriage group. Happy marriage group. No, I don't. I don't think it exists. You know what? A, <laughs> I don't think it exists. There's a thing with having a happy marriage and there's a thing. If there's with a just, happy marriage group, ridiculous. send it our way. Ridiculous. Um. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> We're just talking about posting on Mark's. So Mark's question is, do you post? What do you post? What is acceptable? I guess? No, anything's acceptable. I'm okay. not I'm not going to be somebody that's going to sit here and judge. It sounds like I am. And I I understand that. But in my guesstimate, if I'm going in for a colonoscopy, I don't need to freaking go on freaking my Facebook and go, had my colonoscopy today. I'm all cleaned out. I feel great for people to freaking answer me and go. Oh my God, you okay? Blah blah. I don't, and I don't know if people need that. If they if they're posting it because they need that, those people saying, "Are you okay?" It means something to them that people are reaching out. This is their way of getting love and getting attention and feeling it the way they should. Or is it? I, I don't know. This is what it, my my struggle with people that hang out their wives or or just inner things that say, "Uh, oh, you know, I tried to help this person out and they just didn't want it today." And you're like. What the fuck, man? What yeah. do you, you know? See, I don't know. I, I think it's all, see, like, all right, just on the colonoscopy thing, whereas you don't think it should be posted, I would probably make a joke of it. Hey, I'm going in for that procedure, and but he didn't even I guess my, my difference is why <laughs> why did you post it? Why the initial, why couldn't you just make a joke about, you know what I'm saying? Colonoscopies in general? Yeah. I, see, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, it's topic. It's, Some people just don't have filters, and I mean, yeah. they think... You know, I'm just everyone gonna post wants this. to know about your butthole. <laughs> they might. I mean, it's a popular. Well, butthole. I mean, too, I, get, like, I mean, I get it. Uh, some people don't have thousands of Facebook friends. They have twenty of their family members, and it's like, okay, this is a yeah. okay. But let's put this into perspective on that. I'm gonna okay. So if I have seven hundred, Jim has a hundred. Another person has 20, somebody has 1,000. You're still putting that into perspective. You're only really only talking to a very small percentage of that. No matter if it's 20 people or 20,000 people, on social media, you're only talking to a select 5 to 10% of that total that's on your... They don't know that, and they don't think they that. They do. No, not people. You think everybody works the same, and they don't. I Mom, on her 20-minute rants, you don't post 20-minute rants, but Mom does it anyway. Because that's how mom gets her frustration out. She had no one to talk to about that. You know, so a lot of the times it's ultimately, I don't have any, not, I don't even know, okay? Because I can't say that. You know, it could be that they have no one to talk to, so they post it on Facebook and then people do get engaged and with the post, you know, and now they have someone to talk to. Yeah. You know, because as someone who does. You might find someone to talk to out of that of and this people. is going to go into our next segment with TikTok, which is what we're talking about yeah, here. We'll so this, we're going to go into that. But I, I get that. I guess my my I don't like when it's attacking somebody else. If you and your mom are in an argument and you get on Facebook and say, my mom pissed me so freaking out. And now you have sides. Now right. you have. 20 people going, oh, you're absolutely right, Kayla. You're absolutely right. And you're going to have the other 20 go, your mom's a great lady, blah, blah, blah. So that's it's starting an argument that, <laughs> you know, that I don't know if I like. And it's I making agree. you choose sides, and I don't know if I like that. My, my thing is the assholes. 
Ask the what? Holes. Ask holes. People who ask for ask advice, holes. but they don't want to listen to you. Well, who? Why are they asking us, though? We're because, not... no, this is what I've learned about people, whether it be Facebook or just in general. This is why I don't give advice anymore. People ask for advice. They don't want advice. They want validation on the decision they've already made. Absolutely, they do. <laughs> it's the That is the God honest truth. And you're going to notice this as you get later. When you start giving advice and, to people, they're just going to blow yeah, you off. I have my personal one that I deal with every damn my day ex -wife, who listens to this. <laughs> my ex-wife would ask me a question. And if I didn't agree, she'd go ask 10 other people until right. she got the answer she yeah. wanted. And, and I'm like, so why Why are you wasting your general. time talking to me? I mean, it's just yeah. – you're just going to – you want validation of what you think is correct in your head, yeah. which I get, I guess. But have the confidence just go – just go do it. You don't need you don't need my validation. No, pe to go people do just it. want validation. I think that a lot of that goes on on the Facebook is I want people to support my decision. And I mean, this this it this just goes round and round because then you get those people that you know I want people to support my decision to want to take my kids to to happy to hour. happy hour. And then other people. I mean, that. But again, I legitimately think her was question saying, was just I just I don't think she was looking for a fight. Right, right, right. But I'm just saying there's so many people out there that. What do you guys think I should do this? No, you want validation. So you want, you're only going to listen to the people that agree with you. What I think social media created was lonely people cannot feel lonely without actually having to interact with people. They don't have to, they don't really have to create friends. If they're lonely and they sit in their room and all they do is play games and they don't really leave or whatever, they can still have a friendship with somebody they don't ever have to meet. Right. And that will agree with some stuff they're doing and there's no interaction with people, and I think this is a way for lonely people to feel non-lonely. I think social media is. I really think, and in one sense, I guess that's good, but in other sense, I think it's pathetic because all you got to do is it the porno? Is it the porno again? I don't know. <laughs> it might be, guys, turn it off. <laughs> no, because as we were just talking about in the break, though, um, I I get on social media a lot just because I'm bored. So yeah. As I'm scrolling, I'm seeing the memes and the funny videos, and then this person, you know, dad pissed him off and blah, blah, blah. So I'm scrolling through the whole thing, but it keeps me, you know, because I'm bored. I'm bored just sitting there. And Social media the serves a purpose for that. Yeah. And I think that's why it, now it's created not even her generation, maybe not even the generation before, the, the even younger ones, they are not going to know anything on social skills they're not gonna oh, everything they do is gonna be uh, artificial intelligence and every it's Texting, it's like the yeah. world is gonna be changing so fast so quickly very quickly here that it's it's i i, I the social aspect of everything is I, just crazy i'll tell you something this is what i liked about myspace versus facebook myspace you can put whatever you want this is my music these are my pictures these are my thoughts this is my blog blah 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 People could go to that page. They didn't. They weren't forced to see it. They could go to your page. Hey, what's Mark up to? Okay, mm -hmm. oh, Mark went to a game. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, or uh, Jim's just a cranky ass. And remember, you base it. Oh, I had six people look at my page today. Yeah. It would. It would add like a but, running total but, in the corner but or then whatever. They would look. Oh well, Jim's a cranky ass, so I'm not going to go to his page <laughs> and, and read his shit. This was happening when he was twelve, though. So no. But, <laughs> well, my point is, though, that's what I thought was better about MySpace was you had the choice to go read people's shit, whereas Facebook, it's just there. You MySpace was it. Blockbuster. They had it, the world at their tips, and, and they Blockbusters come back. Did, did you, you see, see that? that? I did. Their they, website went active. They went. They said, "We're now." I think Blockbusters coming back. I think they're uh, going to come back to the streamlines. Right. Wait, but that's let's a whole talk about else. We'll yeah. that later. So, going into the TikTok thing, what's your issues with TikTok? Uh, it's a whole nother, it's, I think it's a whole nother segment, to be honest with you. I think we're going to have to go somewhere if you're going to edit this and everything else. So, uh, no, we can run right into a group of them together. So, my, my thing with TikTok. So, again, this is, I want to, I'm going to, do you know what's going on with TikTok? Barely. Okay. Once and, again, don't care. Anyways, the government is trying to shut down TikTok, you know, and it's a huge, again, I thought you'd be more aspect, it's, but it's really like the 21 and younger that are really having the big fits about it because that's what they spend entire lives on it. But if you start looking at the back end of it on what is actually happening with TikTok, I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but I kind of agree. And I'm a diehard liberal, so I kind of agree that uh, they're, I think they're dumbing down America. I think they're starting divides. I think they're, TikTok is a, and fa everything. They're allowing people to come in and just subtly, oh, the government sucks. So the government did this to you. The government did that to you. And causing separation on purpose because other interests in other areas of the world can influence that. And they know that we're – if you go on Chinese TikTok or Japanese TikTok or anything, 
they are showing videos of how to make things and how to become better people and how to exercise. What is ours? Like, and how to put a thing on your head and run into a wall. I mean, it really, I mean, and, and you laugh yes. at that. That's really what it is. It's there, it, and, and I think that outside sources have some say in this. And I believe we saw this during the, the election with Trump. The Russians bought a ton of ad space on uh, Facebook to implement stupid, ridiculous stories to get Trump elected because it was in their best interest. And nobody's doing anything about that. And so do you not think that uh, TikTok, who's owned by a, Jap- a Chinese person, not say, he's a, I- I'm not saying – but you don't think that there's some way – I'm not even saying that he's selling secrets. He's not doing that. I believe there's some way that they are telling people – the government's bad or this you, is bad and start div- causing divide. So you you think this is, I don't want to say mind control, but you think they're, they're basically trying to influence. Right, and they are influence. They are, yeah. they're coming in an influence. So, and you think, do you think the Chinese government's actually involved in the TikTok thing? I believe they know how to attack America. I believe they know how to, the, they knew that, but it wasn't going to be monetarily. It wasn't going to be through our finance. It wasn't going to be through our industry. It was going to be, Divide the country and conquer from within. If you ca- if you cause a division within your own um, country, where now fifty percent of the people believe this and fifty percent of the and they're and you cause big issues with it, they're going to fight, and that's going to cause the own divide. Well, I, I think the news outlet are, outlets are doing that, but we can get into that later. No, I know, and I'm and I'm also I have a really hard problem with our kids who are suffering with any side of, of mental health between the ages of twelve and thirty. Going to TikTok, these idiots that don't have any help at all. The, you're, these kids are going to TikTok for help because they're feeling awful, and they're listening to some idiot that is has no degree, has never been to school, and saying, "Oh, you should do this, or you're this, or you're that." No, you're not. You need to be going and talking to a professional. You don't go to TikTok at midnight to try to get your advice. And why do I feel this way in my head? That's Agreed. that's you, you shouldn't that. be doing that, especially if you're having suicidal thoughts. If you're just doing that because you're you're growing up and you want to see if other people have your views on things, absolutely, I'm all for that. But if you're sitting in your head and you're thinking, I want to go buy a gun, I need to go talk to somebody. That's that's our kids should not be doing that. That's not that's not a. They should be coming to us. Sure. And what TikTok is doing is it's, it's stopping that. It's a huge hurdle for kids to cross over that to come talk to their parents. Right. It's a huge. We, we had to go talk to our parents because we didn't have, you know, if you fucked up or got caught stealing or you had to talk to your parent. Now there's this huge. Let me ask you though, did you really go to your parents for advice? I didn't have that relationship. Yeah, I did. I didn't either. So my. But I think Kayla can to you guys. Oh, right, yeah. Kayla. I would like to think that Kayla. I know she goes Carla damn near everything, but she should know. When you were younger, did you go to them for when you had issues? No. No. Oh, <laughs> but you you didn't go to social media. No, because I didn't have social yeah, media. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, She had her group of friends just like we did, just like us. Yeah, you, know? you solve it yourself or with your friends, and then if you got to go to your parents, you know, if you yeah, got a relationship the, with them, the that's great. Stuff. Yeah, I had my cousins and stuff like that, but even then, like, I was perfect. I just have a hard <laughs> I have a hard time with... with with uh, kids seeking out. Well, see, I thought you were going a different way with this because with with the everyone, you know, they're trying to ban TikTok unless the owner sells it. So right, they which want, I think is fair enough. They because don't want Chinese ball. What I don't understand is if this is such a big issue, why doesn't everyone switch to reels or shorts or whatever? Why TikTok why does has that, something like 60 why, yeah, freaking but, but billion okay. listener or but okay a, a there's user. an issue with the chinese government and tiktok thing fine switch over and make reels the new tiktok you know yeah it's hard yeah, to... but they can switch to another platform and do the same thing because for years what is your issue with selling and... it to an american entity that has american values because in... if the guy's not going to sell you shut it down you shut it down and everyone switches to another platform. They will. So it could be a fly by night. Absolutely, it could yeah, be. So why don't I mean, social media and, companies and, are coming and, and going and left and it. right. Just do that because then you got the news media coming in here. Because of what she just said, it. that guy that's going to shut it down and not selling it, and the people that are making TikTok money, and the people that, I mean, and you're putting thousands of people out of work. I understand so from around the, but you're putting thousands of people out of work in a tech industry that's already but getting slammed if you right look now. Look what happened to MySpace. Facebook took over. We're really we're dating ourselves. No, I know, MySpace but, has been but, outdated but for listen, ten years. But listen, longer than that, MySpace went away because everyone went to Facebook, and now Facebook was the big thing, and 
nothing's been able to come meta, up against it. everything right so that's what i mean if tiktok's such an issue because the chinese government just switch over to something else I, just I, think, like they went I love these- you, Jim, but I think that's a way of looking at it. It's affecting too many people to do that. The millennials aren't mad that they're trying to shut down TikTok because they don't want TikTok to go away because that's their lifeline. They're mad because it's a censorship in the sense of a lot of shit gets posted on TikTok, be- the real shit, national disasters, UFOs, whatever the hell it may be, where... Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff don't show you that because of their community guidelines and all that kind of stuff. So that's why the millennials and the Gen Zers are mad because they don't feel that it's a genuine, you know, takeaway. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. No, I do. Because so when me and Jim, if me and Jim wanted our, our news back in the day, we had to buy a newspaper, and it was basically – and everybody's probably listening to us, but, and kids uh, – that newspaper, that's something that actually came to the door every day. Me and Jim <laughs> delivered, and it had ink, and you read. But it would – you had one view of it. It was what the – and most of the time, it was, it was non-biased. It was this is what happened. You make a decision on what you want to do. That's how it was written. And then freaking Ted Turner bought CNN – and that turned into a freaking very liberal station. And then Murdoch with freaking Fox and everything else. And then that right. turned into a very – so now they're, now that started. Now they have every avenue. Now there's 42 different ways to look at the news and to look at how things are portrayed. And I think it's, it, it's, it's causing so much divide that nobody knows where they're coming or going. Uh, what was that story with Fox where they actually got caught doing something like that? Uh, I wish I could remember that. Oh, just recently with freaking yeah. the Domin- the Dominion voting stations and everything else that they fabricated for, yeah, you know, yeah. that so they that. went on the air and knew that what they were saying is wrong, but they needed ratings. So, okay, you can't call yourself a news outlet then. You have to call yourself an entertainment channel, and this is a show. And that's, okay, and that's-, that's where it comes about ratings. Like we talked off the air that, you know, they're going to put what's going to make them money. So whether it be the trans that just shot everybody or the the black guy two years ago that shot people, they're going to put that label on it because that's what people want to hear about. I have no problem with Fox News. Just don't call yourself Fox News. Yeah. Call yourself Fox Entertainment with Sean Hannity at 7 o'clock. And there's his show. And T- Tuckle Carlson at 9. Go, That's his show. I, I but think, it's not news. I think CNN, MSNBC, I think they're all guilty of it. Oh, they are. Absolutely. And you now There's they no say no real news outlets. Well, because nobody trusts the news outlets. Yeah, anymore. we're losing so Kayla. Now, we lost. We lose her every two weeks. I was trying to get a, her perspective on, but she doesn't know much about the the TikTok story. I thought you knew a little bit more. But if they shut it down, would you care? No, because I would just go right over to Instagram. Yep. That's the that's what I don't. I understand the the millennial, the Gen Z part of it of the whole. It's a censorship. They're trying to ban it so that they can control what we see and what whatever. Go for it. Cool. But also, if China does have as much freaking input in it as they say and all that kind of shit, you know, that's a problem. And younger generations don't see that. They think, oh, this guy's so great. He's so cool. You know, we're going to protect him. Motherfucker will turn around and nuke our ass and we'll be done. Oh, no, and, and, I, and I, do, I don't, I just think they want to cause divide. And I yeah, think that, it's, again, if you look at, at, at Chinese and Japanese, they're they're giving instruction videos on their TikTok. They're, I mean, not that we can't find, but that's really no, but all that's it the thing, is. Though, Mark, there's instruction videos on TikTok, but America's so overwhelmed with the I'm going to put this thing on my head, and run into a wall, that you see those more than the instruction videos. That's see, a- I don't see that at all on TikTok. And I that was YouTube. That was YouTube's generation of okay. okay we're going to be I the prank that. channels. We're going to do this. We're going to run into walls and do stupid shit. TikTok. To me, from what at least my for you page like generates to me is tutorial videos. It is weight loss videos. It's cute puppy videos. It's wedding videos. Yeah, right. You okay. know. Well, so, go- oh, I'm not saying all the TikTok is just stupid well, content. I'm, just, I'm not when, saying that at all. When you say that China shows instructional videos, I think that the Chinese society is more into that. Well, they also dictate what can be on it and what can't. Well, true. So, I mean, Versus so American society, we have no boundaries, which which is great, yeah, America. But you're going to see more of that stupid shit on there. Because if someone who's, 
you know, hates the government, they're going to be looking for videos on government until the algorithm says we're just going to keep sending these absolutely videos to them. So, and that's what gets a little little scary. So I I don't. On one hand, I'm like, yeah, they they, they do. I like what they're doing. This is what you got to do. You're going to make that decision. You're selling or or you know shut it down. On the other hand, I'm like, okay. Her generation has a little point of view. You're censoring us. You're, this is this is our way now of growing. We're your way was CNN and whatever. Ours now is this. The, if the platform's grown bigger, so learn how to deal with the platform. Just don't shut us down. So I I get that that there's growth, but sometimes you might have to reel it in. And I I think we're at a point where we might have to start. We're growing faster than we can deal with it in everything. You don't think so? You're shaking your head. I'm shaking my head at the lobby. no. I oh. I think you got to remember when the Bill of Rights, when the First Amendment was written, the world was an entirely different place. Right. Not to go off on a tangent, but I'm just going to say this. The Second Amendment, okay, the right to bear arms. Now, with this latest thing happening, they want to ban assault rifles, okay? Everyone's saying, no, the Second Amendment says I can have my assault rifle. Yes, it does. Okay? But when the Second Amendment was written in 1760, 1770-something, okay, we had muskets. Uh Mm-hmm. And, and it took you it. 20 minutes, to, and then it backfired yeah. on you, and it so, shot you in the stomach. So you, fu- so, you fired the <laughs> you weapon, kill yourself. and it would take minutes, <laughs> not seconds, minutes to get another shot off. So does the Second Amendment need to go away? Absolutely not. The Second Amendment needs to be changed to address the new the new type of weapons we have. I So my biggest thing is I, I believe that all these shooters, including just the last Tennessee shooter— could have been stopped, and people will attack me, and I'm not trying to go big deep into this, but if you are being treated for any type of, of mental illness and you're being given drugs, it should be a flag that pops up yeah. on freaking when you're going to apply for a gun license, and they say, no, mm-hmm. you cannot buy it. You, I'm not telling you that you need to know what your doctor is treating you for, and that has to go all that, because that's what everybody's jumping on me, saying, um, no, that's that's privilege doctor or patient HIPAA, privilege yeah. and i i'm not saying that what i want is you're under the care when you go to buy a gun you're signing we're going to run this test and it'll a it'll defer 50 percent of the people that want to buy the gun because they're going to know it's going to pop up second of all those are going to pop up yeah well i think they should bring back the seven day waiting period you per- that doesn't mean no. i don't per- so you wait seven ways to get more mad yeah because a lot of people are just pissed off they're going to go buy a gun go do the shit they got to wait seven i got to that that down. tennessee shooter was under the care of a psychiatric freak. No, and believe me, I'm with, her, I'm with you 100% up. on that. There needs to be a, a, you know, just as you have to take a class to get a concealed weapons permit, you need to take a class to get an assault rifle. But she also had the weapons over the last three years. Right. But she was under care. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with you. That, I, there the should the have been a flag every thing, time she wanted to pop up. The a whole flag. hip of thing goes out the window in that, in my opinion, you know. Yeah, when you're buying a gun, you, it's your right to buy a you, gun. But I'm selling it to your. I'm running your medical record. I'm. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm, that's what when I'm doing. You, you buy want a this gun? gun that's you're what I'm giving doing. us the right to look at your medical record. So you should have nothing to hide. But so this, it, this is, is going to dictate that 50 percent of the people are going to be. Like, I can't go buy this. These are some of the changes I think need to be made to the Second Amendment. You still have a right to own a gun. But the gun lobbyists are never going to do it, and freaking the Republicans are never going to do it. Yeah, but they need to because you know, hey, I own a gun. I don't. I for for a civilian person, you, me, anyone at this table, to own an AR-15, no one's going to go shoot Bambi's dad with an AR-15. I I don't. But think... apparently, we don't know that anymore. We can't say that because that's not true. Yeah, but I I, I disagree. I think if you're going to buy an AR-15 or any sort of a sight if you like that, you need to take a class and get licensed for it. That, that wouldn't be a bad idea. No, I, I, I 100% agree with that, yeah. too, in my yeah, opinion. They need, to change, I mean. they don't need to get rid of the Second Amendment. They need to change it and, and, and update it. It's, it's 300 years old. It needs What's, to change. Kayla was going to say something over there. No, I in the sense, whatever, I agree. I, <laughs> I'm over it. All right. All right. Well, enough of our political stuff. We well, no, we didn't want to go too far into this. But. No, but you know, it's something that I think sh- people should be talking about now. Yeah. And I, I mean, we we have really steered away being political on this show at all. We haven't. Yeah. But I wanted to, the TikTok were, were kind of bugging me. The Facebook, I, somebody brought it up to me. In fact, I don't I forget who texted me and said you should talk. I get I, somebody just posted on their Facebook about some bullshit stuff, and they text me I'm like, this is what you need to. You need to talk about this kind of stuff on there. And I was like, yeah, I guess two points of view. uh, Again, getting back to that, to wrap it up, you know, some people say just keep scrolling and some people say 
don't put it on there. And I, that's why I stopped. I just stopped. You're not going to hear my good shit. You're not going to hear my bad shit. All right. You well, know, that's just the way. And that's our two cents, everybody. So <laughs> All right. that's our political uh, think <laughs> yeah. tank in 24. Remember, Enough that's it. Political so. up. All right. When we come back from the break, Kayla's going to give us her final Country Thunder wrap up. Country Thunder's coming up in 13 days. 13 days. Catch the countdown on CTA's Easy Adventure. I'm refilling my drink and getting high. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, we're back, and Mark's trying to call my daughter some other name. <laughs> it's our warped word. What's back, anyway? So it is our weekly Country Thunder update, and if we, we need a new soundbite, it has like a, a, a freaking mule or something doing that. We should have that. But it's Country Thunder, Kayla. got to give us her Country Thunder update. It's coming up in two weeks. you got to be excited there, kid. Come on now. I you told him four times not to call me. Country yeah, Thunder, yes. Kayla. Yeah, hey, we're gonna, if you're listening to this, I want a thumbs up if you want me to call her this every week. No. <laughs> we're taking a vote. Seven votes. First seven votes, Jim. Right. First seven votes. <laughs> oh, you got to vote online. you got to vote online. If it's not on Facebook, it ain't official. <laughs> so yeah, our last week before Country Thunder, it's going to be the longest damn week of my life, but I'm hoping we have everything figured out. Do you have the whole week off? No. No? So my work schedule recently changed, so now I actually work an extra day than I did before with my other schedule, which kind of sucks, but I mean, I get out now at 12 45 so tuesday i'll have the rest of the day to get any last minute things done but next week we're gonna go do all of our grocery shopping we're gonna do the jello shots all that kind of stuff get that all figured out so what's on your grocery shopping list for country thunder no oh, lunchables bacon <laughs> yeah. yeah i heard them say that last night twenty dollars on lunchables yeah twenty dollars <laughs> really the very first year that jamie and i no it wasn't the first i year. love lunchables don't get me wrong but it was the first year that we went camping we didn't have any sort of stove grill we were in a tent just two girls trying to figure shit out and yeah how you we doing? legitimately <laughs> bought twenty dollars worth of lunchables and that's all we had to eat. The but whole you've week. graduated. I mean, I agree with having the sentiment of it now, but you should have graduated from that point. The problem is, is that we get so like hyped up and excited that we end up spending too much money on food and end up bringing a lot of it back. So this year, what we've decided overall with the group is that everyone's just going to kind of bring their own food and then when it comes to like breakfast and stuff like that, we're all going to pitch in you know, eggs, bacon, sausage, the whole shebang. Because per- personally, I eat breakfast in the morning, and then I don't usually eat until we get back at the campsite at like two in the morning. Uh, that's a bag of cheesy poofs. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That twenty dollars. That's what lunchable. your dinner is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is the best twenty dollars lunchable I've ever had. That's so awesome. The past few years, we've tried to actually like oh, we're gonna make walking tacos. We're gonna make steak in this, and we're gonna make burgers and. By the time you get back to the campsite at night, you're so freaking tired. Yeah, you're like shit face. drunk. Yeah. Yeah. It, there was one week, year that we had whole meal plans prepped and didn't use any of the food. Oh, wow. Yeah. So did this you year, bring up, did it spoil or were you able to bring it back? Um, Some of it we brought back, but some of it, it was just like yeah, kind of lost cause. Yeah. So definitely this year, Jamie and I. And just everyone decided, like, we're going to bring our own thing because we all eat different things anyway. So I know for sure we're having mini muffins and $20 worth of Lunchables, which now is like half of what it used to be back in right, 2016. So now it's got to be $40, $50 worth of Lunchables. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, now but I, wait, I get the, the I get the uh, whatever's all the time. They Lunchables. If you go to uh, Sam's Club, they got them six for eight bucks in a pack. That's what we'll do. Yeah, it's Good. eighteen of them. You're there you go, twenty four dollars. You're in. Well, and I like. I was talking to Jamie about it too, and I'm like, I just want to get. Walmart has like the rotisserie, rotisserie chickens, just cut up finely already. I was like, so I just want to get that. You can pop that shit in the microwave and have a tortilla at the end of the night, kind of thing. Uh, see, I agree with that. Quick, easy stuff. Yeah. You don't yeah, really want to set up a grill. You want to go in there. Hey, who wants to shred a chicken? Throw this on your uh, tortilla or freaking or your right, sandwich, right. whatever you want. Yeah. Throw some mayo in there, and there you go. There's your chicken salad for the day or whatever. Yeah, so I'm like, I will go heavy on the breakfast stuff and then just 
small salads. We'll do like cheese and crackers or like a bag of chips or. You know, you'll be a hero if you bring like um, fruity pebbles or something a box because at two o'clock in the morning you got fruity pebbles. You'd have freaking <laughs> twenty people eating them, eating fruity pebbles with you. You really would. I'm telling you, try it. You should. We did burgers and like hot dogs last year, and I kind of feel like we should do that again because that was a nice one that. You cook that up right when you get there, and then you have that kind of all weekend just to Yeah, you snack can munch on, on a plate. Yeah, absolutely. You oh, want a cold true. hot dog on a bun or something? Abs- mm-hmm. You just throw Absolutely. Well, you that's microwave a good idea. 30 seconds, and you're good to yeah. go. Yeah. So we haven't even sat down to talk about food yet, which is. Eh. I'm with you this year. Don't do anything where you got to. You gotta cook, I, except for the burgers and whatever. That's that's well, about the, it. Well, the the person that's driving the RV, I think, is somewhat of a cook, so he might actually take on some of those responsibilities. Well, if I'm he wondering. wants to do it, then let him cook to yeah, a storm. I mean, God yeah. bless you. You know, it's his first year going out, so he doesn't necessarily know what to ex- right. expect. But he also has done NASCAR every year. But that's so where Country Thunder Kayla comes in to tell everybody <laughs> about. What. I wonder if he's been listening to our updates on Country Thunder. No. Not all, all right. So moving on from the food, you said. Uh, Jello shots. Yep. We have somehow Jamie and I turned into like everyone knows about our jello shots, which I'm like, how? Like, we're just two girls that made these jello shots, but I think it's because of my Instagram. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so two girls have made each other. Now, shots. every time everyone's like, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Everyone at Camel is all like, we're going to come do jello shots with you. I'm like, okay, come over, whatever. So, yeah, we have that set up for Saturday next week that we're just going to spend all day making damn jello shots. Uh, you make your jello shots in syringes, not just souffle cups. Yeah, we do both. Oh, you do both? Okay. We I go towards the syringes because it's one, easier, and two, just whatever. But those ones are harder to pack because they're bigger. Right, right. So, I don't know. We'll see what we decide. We have plenty of syringes. I've spent way too much And how many is in your group again? We have... For I think there's like eight or nine of us. Nice. That's a fun party. That's, mm-hmm. And, you know, you, even if you guys stop doing this down the road, this will be something you guys will probably all get together for some, at somebody's house doing this down the road like this. You know, fireside shouts for those friends. That's, that's important. So Yeah. No, we talked about it yesterday. And because Jamie, Jamie's been the one that's kind of been like, oh, I want to do other things, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Like, no, screw you. Yeah. I really want you guys to come. We'd have I a think... good time. Mandy, and Mandy would love yes. it out there. She'd have a blast. I want to get the... Uh, Maybe uh, next year. What if we... What if we? How much is to get a thing? If, if say, it's me, Holly, Dave... You know, we'd have to rent an RV because none of us have one. So we'd have to rent one. And what's the... And you said that's like a grand, isn't it? It depends on when you get it, where you get it from, stuff like that. Uh, we get the Cruise America... And if you do it like a year in advance, like if you were to book it right now, you'd probably pay a grand for the big one, stuff like that. You want to book that kind of stuff way far in advance. That way it's, you know, secured. Does it have a quarter when you put a quarter in the bed and it vibrates? No. Damn it. No. I like those. So, um, where was I going with this? Um, uh, us going if you out book there it in year. advance and Wes going out there next year, so. One thing I learned this year, because I highly regret doing what we did, we prematurely brought, bought sites. You know, we have our one, but we have one. So when you have a bunch of people around you, it's hard to set up what you want to do. So we rented two sites from a woman, and she... Uh, I don't think she's listening. I hope she's not. But she definitely overcharged us. You know, we spent $1,100 on two sites. Wow. Where now I'm finding sites that are way cheaper and way closer to the venue than what I paid for the two sites that I have right now. Wow. So next year, I already told Jamie, we have our one site. If we need a second one for whatever reason, we're going to wait until the last damn minute because I could have gotten three sites right near the damn gate for half of the price that I've paid. Wow. Yeah, I think right. that's, these two it's kind of, I think it is sort of like that with the sites. I've heard the same thing from friends of mine that are going out there too. They're like, nah, we just wait till the last minute. We end up getting one for, you know. Yeah, because people are just like, shit, I'm not going to sell this. So here, or the people that it. just can't go. They, they bring right. it back yeah. out and they don't go when they resell it. So it's, the, which I apparently is a big thing too. They just can't make it down. Yeah. So they don't go. And I don't know what about this year. There's been a ton of people renting out their sites. I don't know if it's just because the lineup i mean it's great obviously but it's it's not at the same time like yeah, it for doesn't me, seem like there's anyone 
big, like, oh, yeah. See, but know. I think Country Thunder has turned into that. I think it's now uh, a spectacle. It's not, you're not always going now to see, it is about the music and don't get me wrong and everything, but I think now it's about the party. It's about, like, the, the management open. Nobody gives two shits about who's actually playing, and except for diehard golf people, you go for the party. Mm-hmm. And I think kind of that's what I'm thinking Country Thunder is out here now. Uh, it's a little bit of a mix, because I know a lot of people were saying, like, the lineup this year just sucks, so we're not going. So they're going to turn around and rent out their stuff. Which surprises me. Either A, they're cheap and they're not paying their artists. Because if I'm an artist, I want to play there. I mean, don't you? I mean, if don't you want to play there? No, I don't know. Or do you want to play the big stadium, you know, that's inside air conditioning? I have a nice... I I don't know. I I, I honestly don't know. I'm I'm torn between I want to go to Country Thunder just for the experience, and I just can't imagine... I think they would get bigger people playing if they did country thunder once every three years i think if it was a three-year every three-year event you'd have huge people headlining it i think nah. festivals now are like a huge thing there's tons of them we just had one in benson i took mom to you know and that was a very older country music but i could see that one i i could see it be, being as big as country thunder i just hope it doesn't get that big because in my opinion, don't get me wrong, I love Country Thunder. That's all I freaking do is eat, sleep, breathe, and whatever Country Thunder. But it loses the hominess of the festival when, oh, we're going to charge you way more money. Here's the same amount of sites. You know, people are still price gouging sites, stuff like that. So I'm wondering, do you ever think so if country music just did like a Woodstock? You know how they're how you well, know they do that. They do stagecoach in California. And when is stagecoach? It's two weeks after Country Thunder. Oh wow! Okay. Do they get bigger names? Mm-hmm. I obviously I don't know the backside on how festivals work and how Country Thunder does their kind of stuff, but it seems like they have the same rotation of artists no matter what. You know, and I, I we're coming back into it from the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, so I don't know if it's. This I wonder is, if that's. What's I wonder if they're it. contracted out. So, because you tell me there's eight country thunders across the United States, right? Something like, that. Something like that. Okay, so I wonder if all these bands are contracted for all eight. Are they, or for four of them, or for you know? Usually, because sometimes if you look at the lineups, the same person. I think it was like before the p- pandemic or during the pandemic when they kept canceling it. At one point, Kane Brown was supposed to play like all of the festivals. So I think at some point they have one person that gets contracted for each one, but then bring in whoever kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, more low. Uh, yeah, I guess if you're on a tour and Country Thunder is coming into maybe around the same state, around city, while you're already on tour, you're probably that's what you're probably going to play. I can right. see. Hmm. I don't know how it works either. I don't know. I, yeah. If there's any booking talent agencies out there, tell us how this works because I'd be <laughs> interested in knowing. So, but it'd be kind of cool to know. But. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd like to give it a try once it's – it is on my bucket list because I'd like to, I think, do it one time. And I think it would be fun with you because you would know everything of what's going on and you could keep us old people kind of filled in. And, I mean, I know enough country music that I'd enjoy it and everything else. And I think if we all went out there, it would probably be a really fun time. Yeah, I do. I'm all for it. Just come out with me next week. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind it. All right. So we got grocery shopping done. We got the uh, jello shots done. We got the – camping done what else are you doing to prepare for country thunder in 13 days no I'm just trying to survive trying to make now, it through work <laughs> i i noticed on ctaz adventures um some of your uh 30 30 days left or something like that you put up some posting um i know the radio station i mainly just show it or promoting any like deadlines like our porta potty one was the other day you oh know, yeah you have yeah. a certain amount of time to do Get your porta potty once it's done, it's done. So I was pushing that so people would get theirs. People still forgot. So wait, so you can rent a porta potty for your site. So does and you have your own That's private brilliant. You have your own private porta potty. So like people next door can have a porta potty and you have a porta potty. That just seems like a lot of porta potties. So how it goes is there's public ones along the main road. So you can just use those. That's what we usually would do, especially when when we were in our other site because we were towards the front. Um, but this year we decided to get a personal one that's on our campsite. We are the only ones that can use it if you lock it because, you know, 
Uh, one of my cousins did it the other year. She didn't know it was her first time out there, so she went and used someone's porta potty on their site. Oh. Thankfully, they were kind of nice about it, and they were just like, "Hey, like, just so you know, like, this isn't a public one. You, the public ones are over there." And she's like, "Oh, I had no idea." So, do you have to lock it when you leave, or put a um, sign on it? Or something? It's it's smart to do that. A lot of people will take out locks. And put as the ones who want heroin in them, I shouldn't really. How many people are really going to go there? I mean, if you have some drunk ass people who are shitting their brains out or puking and all that kind of shit, so yeah, I I, I guess I didn't think about that. So I I, I, that makes sense. I I didn't know that's brilliant though. You can run a porta potty. I mm -hmm. mean, they got some really nice ones. You can run at weddings and stuff. Are they not? I mean, there's some really nice. No, they're just the plain. I've seen some just out. When I worked for, even when I worked for APS 10 years ago, I've seen some really nice porta Yeah, they're better than like, my first bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking, I'm like, holy crap. Like, especially living with Jim. Freaking, it's horrible. So, but My ass wasn't that bad back then. So when is our update? So now we're not going to, are we having any more updates before she actually goes? No. Nope. Is this it? This nope. is the final update. Because if, if it works out our next recording, Kayla will not be with us. She'll be at Country Thunder. I've asked her to call from Country Thunder, but she won't. One no. time for two minutes. No, because the cell phone service out there is terrible. And two, I'm not here. I'm not out there to work for y'all. I'm out there. <laughs> it's to work working for, for me. you too. It's no. for you. Cell phone service is pretty shitty out there, so probably won't even have. You probably won't even hear from me for a week. <laughs> probably not. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Probably You're a grown. grown. All right. Well, final thoughts on Country Thunder. This is the last we'll hear about it until your recap when you get back. So, yeah, we've been talking about it for a while, so I'm yeah. happy. You've been giving a lot of great updates on that. So, I mean, I no yeah, one's really said you, anything, but I'm assuming they've been listening to us for that. Any final thoughts on it? I'm excited, as usual. I'm a little nervous, honestly, given our situation that we're doing this year, but I'm going to make the best of it. And I Half of the time, I'm not even at the site anyway. I'm everywhere else. and At every other site, right? Yeah, everybody else <laughs> wants me wherever they're at so all right well she does post videos at ctazadventures.com it's and hope- country thunder kayla everybody <laughs> that's yeah. the last time you'll help mark call her that uh, I don't but know. yeah check our facebook page up we'll try to post the videos from from kayla also all right we're gonna come right back with what are you doing this week oh we are doing get your mind out of the gutter so <laughs> uh, that worked so well the first time all right <laughs> back from break in a few minutes All right, we're back, and Mark's got another exciting rendition of... <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? We did this last time. It was our highest rated, well... No, we didn't do it last episode. time. We did it like six episodes ago, and it was really not that good. <laughs> and people were guessing and everything else, so if you don't know how I play Get Your Mind Out of the Gutter, I'm going to say something that's going to sound sexual, but it's going to have a regular answer most of the, most of the time. It's going to have a regular answer. Yeah, so, we did really well the last night. Yeah, you guys did do pretty good on that last time. <laughs> kind of pissed me off because you guys were like six in a row you got, and yeah. I was kind of hanging with you. All but, right. you know, I like this game. It's kind of fun. All right. So, anyways, do we know the general rules of get your mind out of the gutter? Why don't you give them to us again? It's get your mind out of the gutter, where I'm going to go ahead and say a phrase that sounds sexual. Say it with me now. Sexual. Sexual. Sexual healing. And it's going to have a regular answer. So, Kayla, are you ready? This is great. All right. We're going to start. Now, I am going to... I'm going to specifically, whoever gets it, that's fine. If you know the answer, that's great. This isn't like really a game. It's just, well, I guess it is a game. First one to five. Uh, well, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll let's see. Go. Okay, We're all right. Along here as it is. All right, are you guys ready? All right. I am dirty. I love being filled with wood, but someone only goes down on me once a year. What am I? A fireplace. Ding, ding, ding. A fireplace. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Look, you, that was like ease for you. You were like, it's a fucking fireplace. I, I was actually having trouble thinking that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm Someone impressed. goes down on me once a year? Yeah. Santa? Oh, Santa, okay. Yeah. All right, so these, so these aren't really super hard, okay. <laughs> What's the best part of your body to put into a pie? The what? best part of your body to put into a pie. Uh, you got me on that one. I'm thinking American. You're close. Pie. Teeth. Teeth is the first part you're going to put into a pie. All right. All right. So that's what that is. All right. <laughs> American All right, pie. Are we ready? American pie, Rob, uh, uh, remembers there. 
Every time I come, it's news. I often hit your bush, but only when my aim is bad. What am I? Snow? Yeah, a newspaper <laughs> delivery. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. I'm impressed. What? She wasn't even in the game, but she says she's with. <laughs> oh, you okay? Right. Another great one to version. one to zero. Or I think it's one I to one. I suck at this. Yeah, you're not doing pretty pretty good at all. All right, all right. You ready? Here we go. Some people like to keep me trimmed. Others keep me long. Everywhere seems to get covered in it, though. What am I? Say it again. All right. Some people like to keep me trimmed. Others keep me long. Everywhere seems to get covered in it. What am I? Mom just pippy long stocking her hair. No. Eh. Jim, do you have a guess? No idea. Grass. No. Oh, <laughs> see? Yeah, it's grass. <laughs> At, what, how, you perverts? How do you get grass everywhere. Grass grows. Not Just everywhere. Like Not everywhere. I don't Ooh. have grass. <laughs> There's Ooh, no grass so. in your fire pit. You guys lost. You're mad <laughs> when you guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys lost. All right. All right. Here we go. So one to one. Or we might not get to five because you guys aren't, you know. All right. You use your hand to whack it off. The bigger I am, the louder I make people scream. What am I? A bug. Yeah, I'll take that. Ding, 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 spider. I will take that. Nice. I will take that. Wow. Okay. Kale is now in the lead. You're, are you making a guess or are you just No, I'm terrible at this. I'm, I'm just not, my brain's not last firing. Last time you got like the last six. I, I know. Remember, my brain's so. just not firing. Okay. Here we go. It's two to one to zero. Jim has zero. If you guys don't know, Jim has zero. Thanks. Yeah, I have zero. Thanks for People pointing that out again. People use man. their hands to go up and down on me. I'm very long and very hard. What am I? A bar of soap. No. Do you want me to do it in a dramatic reading? <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> okay, I can do all right. People use their hands to go up and down on me. Oh. It's very long and hard. What am I? Can you tell me? What am I? I got nothing. That's my dramatic reading. A fire pole? Close. A <laughs> railing. I'm not going to take it. You didn't okay. get a point. It's a railing. Railing? A railing. A hand railing. Long and hard. You'd stroke me. I, I, that's a yeah. That's, that's a qu statement. That's questionable. Yeah. No, it, this, it's my game. Shut up. Again, that's why you guys it's lost. Okay. All right. I come with a great pair, and people love to eat me. What am I? You're not going to get this. This is hard. I come with a great pair. People love to eat me. See, I guess my mind's just stuck in the gutter because I cannot think of anything. <laughs> Say logical. it again. I come with a great pair, and people love to eat me. What am I? It's card, and you guys are going to think this is stupid. Cherries. A lobster. A f f set of pears. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, that yeah, was terrible. I know. That was hard. Okay. I, all right. All right. I'll take a negative on that. Uh, minus right, last one. one last no, wait. One. We're, we're not doing a last one. We get at least two more. Two, two or three. Whatever. Two more. All right. What gets wetter when things get steamy? Trees, lobsters. Uh, Think of something on a lake. <laughs> Water. Boat. Boat. Gee, yes, uh, thanks, Einstein. Water's <laughs> on a lake. Hey. <laughs> that was brilliant. We can stop. Gets Jim wins the game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What gets wetter when it gets steamy? Yes. And on a lake. On a lake. Or a river. Or a river. A steamboat. We said boat. Wait, a steamboat? What gets wetter when it gets steamy? Why does the boat get wetter when it's steamy? I don't know the technicalities of how a steamboat works. But I want to know how you got that, that All right. one. We're, this is the, the, 
this game sucks. You guys just don't know. The how to boat's get a. gonna be just as wet whether the steam is blowing or not. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> and last right. one. Yes, last one. I got gotcha. you. Oh shit! Hold on. That was in work's phone. Well, it might. Oh, wait, now if you hear porn noises, that's just Mark. <laughs> that is, that's it. <laughs> okay, so this this is just a man answer, okay? A man answer. When you can when can you turn an ooh into an ah? Is that from the last episode where they put that little chinkus over no, the no, egg? This, no, <laughs> about three inches. <laughs> No, that made no <laughs> sense. I probably got to edit that one out. That no, yeah, don't. Come on. Turn ooh into an ah with three inches. All right, this is the last one, I promise. Uh, okay. Please. All right. You must blow me to play with me. What am I? Flute, recorder, and trombone. Kayla, you got a guess to win? You must blow me to play with me. Yeah, I have no idea. I would say flute or recorder, too. A balloon! You guys all, come what happened? You guys were brilliant the first time. So anyways, put the applause on there because who, the host who won the game. Who plays with a balloon? Nobody Everybody plays. Everybody kids play with balloons. <laughs> oh, that is completely I wrong. I knew exactly where you that know, button was this that time. That is just awful, man. You guys were awful. I win that right, game. We're going to get much I win that game, game guys. All right, well, this is... Uh, this has been fun. It's good. We're running a little bit longer. It's good. It's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, another exciting episode of Get Your Mind Out of the Gutter. <laughs> All right. Just Thanks stay everyone tuned. for coming. Everyone, again, check out Kayla's uh, Instagram at CTAC Adventure. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash our warp world. Please share the show with your friends. Remember, if you don't like us, maybe they will. Johnny uh, B's Entertainment for all your entertainment needs. And. Uh, what other business do you That's want to it. What else can we play? Uh, Joe's Bar and Grill down in Bay. We want to thank them very much. We got to go. Okay, thank you, everybody. No, we uh, we appreciate everybody. Help us get to 1,000. We're actually going to go out to a nice dinner when we get 1,000 uh, downloads. Uh, yeah. Mark's taking us out yes. to a nice dinner. Uh, so, guys, uh, if for anything, uh, let these people eat. Let's Spend go. Spend Mark's money. Let's get us to 1,000 downloads. downloads. We love you guys. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Bye.